I rushed the draft and rushed again because that last one was poop. You probably lose your little self trying to move how I move. You saying that I'm a bitch will come and show me the proof. This ain't no stock, this is stick hanging out of the tube. I'm about a bag, I can show you how to jig it and move. My inner circle locked in, we ain't taking recruits. My circle all goons, we winning, we don't know how to lose. And if you slip, you getting eight. I ain't talking about food, I'm missing some screws. I'm about to leave what's good y'all it's your main man daquan and i'm back with another video for y'all and in this video we're gonna be seeing how good is the paul george dunk package in 2k22 there's about 11 animations we're gonna be reviewing some clips and doing a breakdown at the end so stay tuned we got the requirements on the bottom of the screen if you need those and inside the 11 animations in this dunk package there's gonna be two 360 dunks and then all the rest of the dunks are just a mix of a bunch of different types of dunks off two feet off one foot two handers one handers they're all in general just basic dunks but one thing to note about this dunk package there is a reverse dunk which we'll be covering but the main animation you'll be getting while using this dunk package is again the 360 dunks and there's two of them things they both honestly look pretty identical the only way to tell them apart is one we're putting a ball a little bit behind our head a little bit more and with these being the main animations in a dunk package that should be all the information you need if you want to decide if you're going to put this thing on or not please tell me in what situation would i be wanting to do a three this slow ass 360 dunk this is probably the slowest animation in the game like look at this shit we're going up while they're on their way down after jumping please tell me how that makes any type of sense now on next gen this is not the main animation you'll be getting. The main animation you'll be getting is a tomahawk animation, which we'll be showing. It's actually not a bad tomahawk animation, but with this being the main duck animation you're gonna be getting while playing on current gen, doing a damn tomahawk should be the last of your worries. But if you see this animation and how slow it is compared to the Zach Levine, which is damn near the same animation, I would say the Zach Levine's is still worse, even though we're going faster because one, we're putting the ball behind our head a little bit more, but that's not the main reason. It's because the speed, we're matching the same speed as the defender compared to this one where, where again, we're going a little bit slower. Now, just because we're going a little bit slower and it's pretty much better than the Zach Levine does not make it a viable dunk package to use. I'm just showing y'all the comparison, but bro, don't put this dunk package on if you're looking to win any types of game bro like i'm dead ass my win percentage probably dropped trying to use all these dumb ass dunks like dead ass and my overall i was a 99 now i'm a 97 the low end of a 97 like like the video please i'll be going through hell trying to test these shits now like we said before this is not going to be the main dunk you're going to be getting while on next gen you're going to be getting a bunch of different types of tomahawks just a bunch of different types of animations and that's really the main difference i see on next gen they be giving you more types of animations out the dunk package instead of matching the animation to the speed and the angle you're going at like it does on current gen which is a big reason why i think current gen or why i know current gen dunking is better than next gen because the mechanics actually make sense they're not just giving us some random shit. but now let's take a look at the reverse dunk in this dunk package there's only one animation and it's this shit right here we're putting it behind us to the right behind us to the left and it's terrible it's bad that, that's all i gotta say about it but next one the tomahawk animations will where you'll be seeing them on next gen the main animations where this dunk package isn't that bad is this animation right here but even then it doesn't even activate limitless takeoff so it automatically disqualifies it from being a viable option on any game even if you're getting that main animation as your main animation you know what i mean but now for the other dunks in this dunk package again there's just a whole bunch of random shit like we seen that one behind the back another slow ass dunk another slow ass tomahawk off two feet like just a whole bunch of random shit that we don't really care about now on 2k21 this dunk package actually had some of the best standing dunks in the game we went up from under the basket them shits were lightning fast it had some of the best reverse dunks the driving dunks weren't that bad sad to see how these dunk packages actually turned out when they try to make them realistic bro like i don't know if this dude paul george is out here doing 360s every other dunk same thing with the zach levine the dominique wilkins or we can even look at the clay thompson and ask the question of how does he have some of the best driving dunks in the game 
crazy to think but the paul george dunk package in 2k22 the speed slow as shit driving four out of ten it is better than the dominique wilkins and the zach levine i'd say standing dunks none reverse dunks three out of ten them shits were trash block rate high three words to describe this dunk package unnecessary limited in our ability to do anything and that nasty nasty not as in good or oh that shit's nasty nasty as in this dunk package feels fucking nasty while using it bro i don't want to touch this dunk package again but if you enjoyed the video make sure you like comment and subscribe and